Hello students. Uh, in this video, we will see how to construct a cycloid uh, in the AutoCAD software. First, we will see the question. A circle of 40 mm diameter rolls clockwise along a line for one revolution. Draw the locus of a point on the circle which is in contact with the line. In addition, draw a tangent and a normal to the curve at any point. So, go to the software and then set the basic things, units. It's already in millimeters. So, okay, next limits. So you press 0, 0, 420, 297, and then press zoom all. Okay. Now what you have to do? Click on the circle. <coughs> you make a circle for 40 mm. I think radius diameter is 40 mm, radius should be 20 mm. <coughs> Once you got the circle, next what you have to do? Draw a line tangent to the circle from this point uh, horizontal line uh, press F8 this length of this line should be equal to the circumference of the circle so the circumference of the circle we will calculate 3 into 2 pi r right 2 into 3.14 into <coughs> 20 so 125.6 mm so I am going to draw it for 125.6 mm so once you draw the line, move in the upward direction uh, for a length equal to the diameter of the circle that means 40 mm and then again move to the left and then join here otherwise you can give 125.6 okay. <coughs> skip so once you uh, drawn like this next what you have to do uh, we have to uh, divide the circle into put a draw a line from this point connect to the center of the circle <coughs> and then we are going to divide this line into 8 equal parts for that <coughs> after putting this line you type array a r r p a y array <coughs> press space select this object press space click polar and it's asking center or center point of the array this is going to be my center point of array now it is divided into 6 equal parts but I want 8 so I am going to click items I am going to change it to 8 press space okay. once you divide this line into 8 equal parts next what you have to do draw a line connecting these two points and this the end line okay. similarly draw a line for connecting these two points and the end point on this line okay. now draw another line from the center of the circle in the from the center of the circle up to this line so you have to draw this line from the center of the circle remember don't draw it from this point draw it from the center of the circle so next what we are going to do we are going to give name for this each uh, section so text 2.5 so i am going to ask one Two, three. This point is four, five. Here six. Here seven. Here eight. Select this one. Jump the other mode and put here. This is my one. In this one and put here this is two control c control v double click j so you divide the circle into eight equal parts okay now uh, next what you have to do we have to divide this line this center line into eight equal parts so first i'm going to type div div select this object and give eight now to differentiate the uh, division what you have to do select the so change this point style i'm going to set it three so i got the points right now next what you have to do once you got all these points <coughs> now just move the circle from the center to this point we'll give a uh, name to this each one okay so I am going to click this one, Control C, Control V. 
electron weak so i'm going to change this one as 1 dash Two dash, three dash, four dash, click outside and then give escape. Okay, five dash click outside and then give escape. Click outside. Click outside and then. Now what you have to do, you have to select this circle and you have to move this circle to one dash and you have to cut a point where this circle intersect the one line. Okay, this this line is common for one and seven. Okay, so I'm going to put a point here. Next, now I'm going to move this circle to point two and it is intersecting the point two line at this point. So pivot to put a point here. Next, I'm going to move the circle to point three. Type pivot to put a point here. Likewise, you do it for all seven points. Okay, in pivot, put a point here. So here you have to put this is the line five. Okay. Six. Central line is the six. Okay, this line is common for two and the six. Now move to the seven. Type pivot on this point. This line is seventh line. Okay. Once you got all the points, move circle back to the. So original position. Now what you have to do? Type spline. And then connect from this point. E. Then connect here. Then come out and then press space. Once you got the curve, what you do? You change the Thickness of the curve. If it is not visible, select here. Okay. So, you can change the color also. So, so once you got the cycloid, to to get a tangent and normal. So, in the question they have asked, in addition, draw a tangent and a normal to the curve at any point. Okay. What you have to do? You first you mark any a point. On this curve, any point, okay. So I'm going to place a point mark here. So if you want a point here, you can take here also. Next, what you have to do? Once you put a point, go to circle, and then select the center here, and then put a circle for a radius of 20 mm. That means this circle radius should be equal to this major circle, the first circle we have drawn. Okay. Or the major circle, the first circle. So twenty plus space. Now this circle is intersecting the center line at two points. Okay, at two points here and here. So what I'm going to do? You take a line and connect this point to this point, and then come downwards and click here. Now delete this circle. Now again line, select here and then join this point. So this is this line is normal. So you have to extend it on other side. For that I am going to rotate R O. Select this object. Press space. Specify this point as space point. Copy. 180 degree. Now. Draw a perpendicular line to this normal. You will get the tangent. So again, select the line, rotate, specify this base point, copy, 
and 90 degree. Now again rotate this object by 180 degree so that you can extend it on other side. R O select object. This way the base point. Copy and give 180 degree. So we got the normal as well as the tangent. Okay. So select these two. And increase the thickness. And also change the color. Similarly, tangent. Select these two. Increase the thickness. Change the color. So now we got the tangent and the normal. So they have told you have, you have to draw tangent and the normal at any point on the curve. So I have selected this point and then I put have drawn a circle from keeping this point as the center for a radius equal to that of this main circle. It cut it, it, this circle will cut the center line at one point. From that line you have to draw a vertical line downwards up to the bottom line. From the bottom line you have to connect this point. This line is going to be your normal. You extend it on the other side and draw a perpendicular line to this normal. Then we call it as tangent. Okay. Thank you.